So we've got our gloves donned and we're ready to fill our silicone for part A. And this is a brand new package, so we're gonna have to open it up. Just do that with part A and eliminate the film. And then for the silicone itself, it's got a really high viscosity. So what you wanna do is keep your blade in rotation as you load it so that it doesn't get silicone on every surface. So you dip it in and then you roll it to make sure it's still fully on your, your blade. And there's this rocking back and forth to make sure that it stays there. Okay. And you just wanna fill the silicone all the way up to that line. Okay, and there's a couple of ways to check whether or not you've gotten to the line. One is to look through the cup with the back lighting, where you hold it like so with a broad light so you can see whether or not you're level to the line. But an easier way to do it is to take your blade and just press it to the edge of the cup and it'll give you a little index where the cup is and then you can use that index line to determine if you need to add more silicone to get to your volume. So you always want to make sure that you've taken the time to pre-clean all your materials. The silicone comes off fairly easily while it's still viscous with isopropyl alcohol. 70% works fine, 91% works great whatever you have that's cheap, effective, and readily available. But one thing I will say is if you're trying to get a lot of silicone off the surface, uh, a squeegee is the way to go. And usually a metal like scraper, like a pastry scraper from the restaurant store. Okay. So now that we have part A done, we're gonna set that aside and clean our tool with paper towel. because you do not want to have cross-contamination. So you're setting everything outside of your workspace and then you're moving part A away from part B. And then again, we're gonna open part B and repeat the procedure, right? So again, peeling off the film from a nice fresh batch and then collecting a gather of silicone and then I'm using the edge of the cup to scrape the silicone into a cup. This is something that takes a little while, a little bit of practice to get good at. And if you rush it, you can get silicone everywhere. And you want to avoid that because cleaning silicone off a surface is a pain in the butt. Okay. So now that we've got part A and part B in their cups, really just a matter of making sure that we have identical volumes. You may have marked it with a Sharpie, you may have checked it with your knife, but what I always do is I take the two cups next to each other and verify at the very end, did I in fact get the same volumes? Sometimes you'll find, oh, those cups aren't the same or something settled differently and you're not sure. So it's always good to take the two cups, clearly labeled part A and part B, put them next to each other and determine, does part B need a little bit more? If yes, add a small amount. If no, move on to the next step, okay? So we've got a little bit more of part B and we're waiting for that to settle. And this part's important. When you have your two volumes, what you need to know is once you combine these two volumes, that's the start time for your mixing. And when you mix these, the silicone um, catalyst will start to mix together uniformly, but as you're stirring, you're introducing air. So when you go to do the degassing step, you're gonna need a cup that is at least twice to three times the volume of your silicone because it will double or more than double in volume based on the degassing step. So we're gonna check part B. So I've got my cup and I'm just doing my knife test. And we're close to where we want to be with our volume on the core, right? So once again, measure on that lip. 
touch down to the, the blade, and then put that blade to the edge of the cup. So we know that part B and part A have the correct volume. They look the same from a sight check and they match the dip test. You could weigh the cups beforehand and do a final check, but we're gonna call that satisfactory. So now we're ready to take parts B and parts A and introduce them into the same cup and start mixing.